Well, Tad just hopes you'll understand. What, that he has to be out looking for a lost baby instead of hand-holding me? I mean, what's not to understand? Is there any news from Jake and Amanda? No luck so far. Ugh. Oh, why did I ever open my big, fat trap? That was the worst idea I ever had in my whole life, dropping a baby off outside of a church. Stop. You, you're getting out of the hospital oh. tonight, and here you are getting all stressed out again. But, you know, if I should have just said to that big old mother hen, Joe, that to let me be, I could have gotten to that baby on time. If only I had we just We should never have friend. involved you just... in the first place. You did all you could. Please don't get upset. But, you know, now they think that maybe David has his hands on that baby, and if he does, oh, God help us all. Didn't you get the hint from Colby? I don't want to see you. I just thought I'd stop by to see if you like the flowers. Well, yes, I found a perfect way to display them. <laughs> now, please go. You know, you're absolutely right. Flowers were the cowardly way out. I should have come back immediately and apologized for what I said last time I was here. That I'm incapable of love and no man will ever make me happy. Yeah, I was angry at being rejected. So that's the way you react? To a woman who doesn't fall into your arms after you kiss her? No, not every woman. Just one like you. And despite what you thought, I was not here to see your son. I came here to see you. And I behave very badly. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, maybe I reacted the way I did because you're right. I am incapable of loving anyone. How did you become involved? I mean, did Brandy call you for help? No. Remember, I went to D.C. to talk to Henry. Tell him I was sick and tired of his games. And to tell him that I was going to resign, try to force his hand. Well, I walk in the room and there's Randy, standing over his body, freaking out. Poor thing, didn't know what to do. She was scared to death that you would find out what you would think if you found out about it. So you decided to make it look like a car accident? Yeah. I hid the body under one of those room service carts and, and, and took it down to the parking lot and drove him in the car out to a road near a really steep drop-off. And then I pushed the car over the edge. And so we, we came back to Pine Valley, and we tried to um, know, make it all seem like everything was normal. <laughs> How could it be normal after that? How could it ever be? <laughs> for Randy, for me? Oh. Why don't you just call the DC police? Yeah, it's obviously self-defense. I know, I know. I know. I, um... That was the first thing that my gut told me to do. But come on. I think of, of what an investigation like that would be. Randy, an ex-hooker, killing a prominent DA with her history, her record, the history between the two of them. Prosecution would eat that up. They'd spin it as a murder of revenge, a desperation. There was too big a chance she would go to jail carrying your baby. No, I'm sorry, I made it. I made a decision. I made a decision. I made a decision. To lie. Even to us. I decided I was gonna do whatever I had to do to protect Randy, to protect my family. What would you have done? 
It's a little late in the game to be asking me for my opinion. You and Randy shut me out completely. And because of you, if Randy gets caught now, there's no longer just a chance of conviction. Both of you go away for a long time. Neither one of us knows what we would have done had we been there. You did what you thought best. Well, I didn't tell you because I didn't want to implicate either one of you in this crime. But why didn't Randy tell me? What does that say about the two of us? It says that the woman loves you more than you realize. Come on, you were still in the hospital. She was still dealing with the impact your injuries had on your marriage. And frankly, she, she just found out that she was pregnant. The last thing she wanted to do was dump all of this on you, too. I would have helped her. She is a very strong and independent woman. Obviously, she, she thought she could handle this guy on her own. And she had to think about your baby. But the baby's gone. Why couldn't she tell me after the miscarriage? <sighs> Just wanted it to all go away. But it hasn't. It's only gotten worse. <clears throat> Because of Madison North. Yeah, well, she's the one who told me. What? She came by tonight and told me that Randy killed Henry North and that if I didn't believe her, I should talk to you. Is Madison guessing? How much does she really know? Everything. It's possible. I mean, you and Frankie could end up keeping him. As long as we are 100% positive that his parents aren't out there somewhere looking for him. Don't worry. I don't plan on doing anything against the law. And I don't plan on hiding this baby. Especially not from Frankie. I'm not crazy. Good. Okay? I'm not going to be the only one making decisions. That's not a marriage. Frankie has to be on board with this as well. Good. Good. And I'm going to help you as much as I can, okay? Thank you. Can you say thank you, Auntie Natalia? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes. You're just trying to make me feel worse for having said it. I already told you I was being a jerk. There's no way you're incapable of loving someone else. Uh, you don't know anything about me anymore, David. Well, I do know that you're still a very determined, very beautiful woman. Someone who wants it all. Career, success, family, respect. I also know that when you walk into a room, the place comes alive. Now, that's not an act. Either you have it or you don't, and you have it. It's an energy, a force to be reckoned with. Now, is it possible for someone with those kind of qualities to be so incapable of something so human and simple as loving someone else? I don't think so. Smooth, doctor. Very smooth. Mm. But I have looked long and hard into the mirror, and I know the truth about myself, so no flattery or flowers is going to change that. Well, maybe you haven't met the right man. Maybe it's late, and I'm going to say goodnight. Apology accepted. Appreciate it. Well, there you go. There's a little life lesson for you. The ones you want, you can't have, and the ones you don't, send you flowers. told you that I'm exhausted. You want to tell me what the hell that was about? 